All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of something pretty big for me. Um, obviously, I have the LBZ Duramax, not that GMC LB7. We've got the Paperweight Duramax. We get the trucks washed a lot, and this is gonna help us to stop paying for all our car washes. I got this Harbor from Harbor Freight. I'll link it below for you guys. We're gonna go ahead, get an unboxing on it, get it running, and just kind of give a quick brief review on it. This is a 3200 PSI, 2.8 gallons per minute pressure washer from Harbor Freight. It is a gas pressure washer. I do live out in the country here. I did kind of want to get an electric one, but for right now, this is gonna do best for us because not only can I use it on the vehicles, we can use it on our house as well. It should be pretty straightforward, you guys. We've got our instruction manual here. Obviously a lot of just We've got our hose. That was the first thing I pulled out. I'll show you guys that in a second. The extended nozzle for the hose. A nice, a very, very nice oil fill here. So this is pretty nice. And then again, here is the nozzle for the pressure wand itself. Um, this is extremely heavy duty. I used to own a, a Craftsman pressure washer. That broke years and years and years ago before I started doing YouTube, social media and all that kind of stuff. And this is, a much better quality than that Craftsman one I had. And here is the pressure washer gun itself. I kind of hope I can just put the nozzles on the end. That'd be kind of nice to keep it nice and short. But if I can't, you know, obviously I'll use the extended one as its intended purpose. But um, again, any suggestions you guys have below for pressure washer attachments, stuff like that, things to clean, maybe my garage floor, my, you know, little cement pad I have here. Most of my driveway's blacktop. Cleaning the house, cleaning the trucks. Any suggestions you guys have, I would be more than thankful for. So now we're gonna go ahead and try and get this beast out of here by myself. Oh, okay, you know what? We're just gonna break the box. Much, much easier to just pull it out like this. We've got our hose. Here is the hose right here. Again, like I said just earlier, any suggestions on hose upgrades, if they do make hose upgrades or not, or if you have this exact pressure washer, if you've had good experience with this, please, please, please let me know in the comments. All right, so it should be pretty simple, you guys. Let's go ahead and undo these little twisty things here. All right, there we go. So that's that. All right, so this is what it looks like right here, you guys. You got your nozzles up here, which is pretty nice. It looks like they just kind of pop out of a little rubber gasket right here. Different nozzles. Pretty nice that they label it for you because I would have no clue if, without reading the instructions what is what. Soap nozzle, wide spray, medium spray, narrow spray, pencil spray. Yeah, don't think I'm going to want to use that on the truck. Probably be sticking to the 25 the soap and the 40. I need to go get gas, didn't think of that. And I also need to go get oil, I didn't think of that. So, without further ado, I will be back in just a second. Just like that, we've got our gas, we've got our oil. This calls for, I think it's 10W30, 5W30, and 30 is your best option. So, I'm just gonna go ahead put 30 in it. Also a quick disclaimer, anytime I run with this kind of equipment, whether it's my tiller, my generator, um, or you know, a pressure washer now, I do like to throw stable in every single fuel up because one, it doesn't hurt the engine, um, it doesn't hurt the components inside the engine, but it prolongs the life of your gas that you're throwing in these type of motors. I will say that I like to do it because I may use this right now, I may use it to wash the trucks, I may use it to clean my driveway, but who knows if I use it two months from now and you definitely want to make sure that your gas is always clean when you're putting in motors like this to make the longevity of your motor last. So this is two and a half gallons, simply just one ounce of stable. And uh, this is this is basically kind of what I like to use, I'm not gonna lie. Through our gas can, but our Because I'm gonna show you right now. So set you down we're gonna fill in from over on this side it doesn't matter which side you fill it from it's all the same I am just using some Pennzoil 30 here you guys I just picked up from the gas station nothing special this is what I'm using I do want to say a quick little tri trick here to check your level I do this at work all the time up in ceilings and stuff like that or in walls as you turn your phone on and you turn your camera on and use your video and you can then see the level of your oil um, and then the other side here, on the other side of the motor is your fill. I kind of wish they would have put this on the other side. This is kind of dumb to have it right here, but hey, you know what, it works. I'm a little over full, you can tell here, but that's not too big of a deal. I'm not crazy over full. So that's, that's all right. That's all right that I am where I am. And uh, 
next time I'll go just a little bit less than what I put in. I really didn't use much, you guys. You can kind of see here, this is where my level is. I really didn't use much of this, so it's pretty nice. I'll have some left over um, because you will have to check your oil level on these type of motors quite frequently. So this is the oil I use, this is the stable I use, and I use premium for my gas. Next step, they got a fuel shut off here. We're gonna make sure our fuel is on. We're gonna make sure our choke is at start. There's a start and a run. And then we're gonna go ahead, turn the electric shut off or switch, you could say. It's not really electric, but it's a switch. Turn the switch off, turn it to on. And now we're gonna go ahead, give it a few cranks to start. start. Now I will say the beauty of that shutoff is not only is it easy to shut the, the motor off, it's also easy to transport because you have a fuel shutoff as well. I'm a very big fan of motors that have fuel shutoffs. And so realistically guys, it took what, two, three pulls uh, and started right up. So I'm very excited about this, you guys. Next we're gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna throw any soap in here, but this is where your soap goes supposedly. We're gonna hook our water up and we're gonna, you know, Hook the wand up and get some pressure washer going on here. We'll test it out on the concrete here first. All right, I've got my water on, no leaks, which is pretty nice. The hose isn't leaking right now. Um, not a professional pressure washer by no means, so let's go ahead and see what this thing does. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see the difference there, but this is what I did and this is what I haven't done yet. It looks like it's done a great job. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a great investment for what we need at our house, not only just for washing the trucks, but you know, I, I really got to freaking spray my house down, wash the house, because we bought, bought this house about four years ago. Yeah, four years ago, so got to spray that thing down and realistically, it's cheaper to buy your own pressure washer and do it yourself instead of paying somebody to do it. But you know what? It also is a good thing to pay somebody to do it if you don't have the time. And also, I never want to take anything away from other people. You know, always very, always weigh your options as to whether it's worth your cost, a time and money, or if it's just worth it to have somebody do the job for you. But in this case, having two trucks, having them always dirty because we deal with a lot of pollen in Wisconsin. We deal with a lot of road salt. We just a lot of just nastiness. And uh, I'm excited. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and link this below for you guys. It's a very, very affordable pressure washer. 3,200 PSI, 2.8 gallons per minute. It's a great pressure washer. I'm happy with my purchase. I also really like the Harbor Freight. Always has extra motors for you if this ever to us to go bad. But the one thing I do know, I don't know much, but the one thing I do know is protect this pump. Make sure you go ahead and get this cleaned out before winter comes if you're in the north because you will break this pump. Protect this pump. So make sure you guys go ahead and stay tuned for Thursday's video, 8 p.m. Central Time. Hopefully I can get it up in time. I am dealing with an internet issue right now. I uh, got, got a new roof on. For those of you that follow me on social media, I got the roof on and they moved my satellite dish for my internet. And now it doesn't work right now. So hopefully I can get that fixed here shortly for you guys. But like I said, make sure you stay tuned for Thursday's video. I'm going to be washing my truck. <laughs> it's going to be my first time washing my truck with these products. And realistically, my first real wash I've ever done. So it's going to be interesting how that works out. Make sure you guys stay tuned to see what products I'm actually going to use. Thank you for all the suggestions. Please, please, please feel free to throw suggestions down for what attachments I should have for my pressure washer from washing vehicles and just home attachments attachments in general. Thank you for all the support and we'll see you in the next video. Quick thing right here, forgot to mention that there's a little bracket here that you put on the side here that is to hold your hose in place. Uh, really nice. It's actually really, really nice compared to what I have for Craftsman. And then it's got a little hook here that you, you add on for your hose and obviously this hose is so dang stiff. I don't know what the heck I'm doing or how to coil that up to be on there, but it'll hold it somewhat for me. Have a good night.